Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and a happy 2022, a rather late happy new year, I'm afraid. I haven't posted for over six months and, um, and I wanted to start off my 2022 uh, make a, with a promise to myself that I will post more consistently. I think the problem was right is that I started this channel because you know I had lots of time on my hand and I felt like I have some information that could be useful for other viewers who are you know in a similar kind of background or situation as myself so essentially middle age um, semi-retired retired and um, you know kids have grown up and relatively healthy and financially stable and wanted to make the most of the second chapter of our lives and uh, I thought that'd be fun to do something like that and share but the problem is so as I started posting videos um, I had lots of different comments and some of them were from friends I mean people that I knew and I know that their comments came from a good place you know they were giving me advice that they felt would be useful for my channel but it was really um, critical actually right I mean they would say tell me things like um, you know your makeup doesn't look very good your sounding you know your sound is terrible uh, your camera your filming your edits and then that made me really doubt what I was doing and for anyone who really know me you know this lack of confidence is a real surprise because I'm normally you know 110 um, percent going full speed for everything I want to do but as I heard more and more of these noises I began to doubt myself and also I mean there was one very valid comment is that you know what is my channel about I mean I think you see for many of the channels um, you know the, the, the person the youtuber will often start their channel and say oh hi welcome you know to my channel is for women over 60 or you know for people who are into skincare or for um, uh, fitness fanatics and you know very keen for for doing exercises and I really didn't have that very focused kind of goal so I need to take some time out to think about what my channel is all about and in the end it really distill it to what is of interest to me I mean ultimately right if I'm not interested in the topic then no one else would be and I will have no passion for it I mean as I tell my kids you have to have a passion for anything you do otherwise you it, there's no chance you'll be successful um, so if anything right I, I think about what are the areas of my life that I'm really passionate about in fact there are four areas that are very clearly I'm very focused on so the first thing is um, health and I think in the last two years with COVID is taught many of us that health is so important it doesn't matter how much money you have and you know how successful you are if you're not healthy you are not going to enjoy that so health to me has to be number one but then you can't get away from the fact that wealth is also very important you know building your wealth having a, a financial security and I think security is the key word here because I think partly because of my background right so I didn't grow up in a very wealthy um, home and maybe you know in some future videos I'll talk more about my background but I really have had to fight and, and work very very hard to, to be where we are now and luckily we are financially stable now so that we can do whatever we want when I said we so my husband and I and we can also help our children um, when we can within limits so financial security has always been very top of my mind even even as a as a young kid you know I was, I've been working since I was 11 years old and so I'm 50 60 this year so that's 45 years that's a long time and I've also not only worked I've saved consistently I think that's the key right you can work and you can earn but if you don't have the right saving attitude then you are not building your your wealth quite frankly so that's an area that I'm very passionate about as well so I'll, I'll, I hope to make more videos on that thirdly um, it is Thirdly, it is exercise. So I'm someone who has exercised more or less every single day since I was um, 13. 
So again, right, that is uh, 43 years. So the only time I haven't exercised every single day was when I was, um, after I'd given birth. So that would have been, and because I had cesarean, that would have been a bit difficult. But even then, right, I mean, within the one week of being out of hospital, I was doing gentle exercises. Uh, so exercise is very much a part of my life. Even if it means I have to get up at, you know, half past five in the morning before I went to work to get in my one hour of um, cardio or weight training. I'll do that. So that is very much a, 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 a pillar uh, of my, how I want to lead my life and how I want to prepare for my future years. And again, I have some thoughts on that that I would like to share with you all. So the fourth uh, area of my life that I'm also very conscious of, very mindful of, is the social connection. I think if you read online or read anywhere and um, listen to other experts on aging, it's really important to stay connected with society, with people. You know, loneliness can kill. And I do think that, um, you know, we need to have that connection. And not only with people from our similar background, you know, we need to have connection with people from different age group, different background, different socioeconomic um, situation right uh, so I've made a very conscious effort to widen to broaden my connections on a daily basis so you know two years ago I joined a volunteer uniform service in Hong Kong which is called civil aid service and that has exposed me to a lot of different people um, that I would normally um, meet and that's been really interesting and I, I like to I've learned a lot from that actually and I like to share my experience with that but aside from that, I, I also have a very curious mind. And I do believe that, you know, we should learn. We should always have that learning mindset, no matter what age we are. So over the years, especially since I became retired, I have undertaken lots of different interest courses. So, you know, I've done um, an intensive course on exercise fitness. I've done, um, you know, Chinese massage, because I've always been quite interested in alternative healthcare um, options. So even from the time when I was like 20 odd years old, I started off with um, Tibetan healing. And I remember going from my home in Southeast London and taking a train and a bus and train to Covent Garden to have this weird, to attend this series of classes on Tibetan healing. Uh, I didn't carry on with it because it didn't, ultimately it didn't resonate with me. But I tried it, and then that's always been my, my motto in life, is to, to give it a go. So, you know, I've learned, you know, I've been on courses on, on um, Chinese massage, Chinese healthcare massage, and that's all to do with the acupuncture, acupressure points, and the meridian line. Um, I've also done a short course, and um, concentrated course on pain management, and that's kind of related to the um, pressure points as well. And at the moment, I'm, I'm on a um, 200 and 20 days streak on Duolingo on my daily French. So I've managed to do that for 220 days, 45 minutes a day, um, in preparation for when lockdown, when COVID is behind us. And to reward my husband and I, we're going to spend, you know, maybe six months living in France. So that is the, the, the goal that's motivating me to do my daily French. So I, I do want to share my journey on, on those kind of adventures. Um, in case you're interested, and also hopefully it might motivate some of you to pursue whatever you're interested in as well. It is too easy to say, oh, you know, it's just too hard, or I can't be bothered, or I don't have the time, I don't have the money. And I want to show you that it's not to do the time, the lack of time, it's not to do with the lack of money, um, of, often because many of these courses are either online is free or for very minimal costs and the benefits you get from that so it's not just the knowledge it's, it's the, the the fact that it keeps you thinking and trying out new things um, and being a bit daring and meeting new people you know I can't say that they are the people I've met in my classes are going to be my bum chum, right? 
um, most of them I would ne probably never see again. But at the time during the classes, there were that connections. I enjoyed meeting them and I learned a lot from them, some of them. And a few I have kept in touch with. So, you know, as I tell my kids, good friends, you don't need a ton of good friends because friendship is like um, a plant. You need to nurture it. You need to spend time to make it thrive. So I, I don't believe you need, it's not quantity, it's the quality. Um, so, you know, some friends just for life and, and others are acquaintances that you meet, you know, along, along the journey. So this is what I have in mind for future YouTube videos. So I hope that, you know, if this is something of interest to you, that you consider subscribing to my channel, uh, give this video a like to, you know, as a kind of encouragement. And also because, you know, YouTube algorithm um, works if there's more engagement from my audience. So I do hope that um, you, will, you will give me the encouragement to carry on. And also let me know in the comments if you know what what goal have you set to yourself for this new year so I know you know is is the trend is the is the thing to do beginning of the year to set yourself goals and I don't think you need to be too rigid with it but I do think it's good to take stock and and maybe have some new ideas new challenges um, set for yourself so that way then you know you are not always stuck in your comfort zone because you just don't grow. I mean, it's all to do growing, um, growing in your life, growing in your experience, growing in your knowledge. So I do hope that I am able to go on this growth journey with more of you and we get to know one another better. So this is it for now. And um, I hope, I mean, I've made many videos during the last six months. I just haven't posted them because I haven't been happy with them. Um, so I hope that, you know, when watching back this, I will get to post this. Uh, fingers crossed. So thank you very much.